I, I just had to give it a minute. Hello everyone, Dustbunny Avenger here from Slackers Undercover, and I'm here with Radiant One. Radiant One is noted as a story-driven adventure with mystical elements and awakening of sorts. Much thanks to the developer, and Fantastic, for allowing us to check this one out. Excited to see what's in store for us. I swear, nothing beats a great musical first impression, and the soundtrack for this opening title, for this title screen, is fan fantastic Or is it F-fantastic? I see what you did there. Alright, yeah, let's new game it up, and go. <clears throat> Los Angeles, March 2018. Two weeks earlier. I've been trying to slip into a lucid dream for several days now, and today, I think I'll manage it. Good luck with that, buddy. <laughs> been there, tried that. I'm gonna imagine myself playing the piano, straining the muscles of my two fingers. It'll help me fall asleep faster. I need to concentrate. Press the button in time. Press... oh, press that button in time. I'm playing the piano. Didn't turn that off. Apologies. Pressing the screen to move. Go towards the light, Daniel. It is your dream time. So weird. Is it a dream or reality? Can I breathe my nose and mouth closed? I can. Now I need to look at my hands. I did it. I finally did it. Lucid dreaming, that's probably the first thing I could do too. I would try to do super manic. Yeah. to get some sleep as soon as possible. I know you want sleep, but I think you should take a shower first, dude. Oh, I shouldn't hold it. I need to just click it. Hmm. Seems like I'm sleeping a lot, more than usual. Every day I come home more and more tired. 
My face looks like I haven't slept since yesterday. When do I need to start getting concerned? Probably when you start coming home more and more tired, man. Lucid dreaming. Y your brain's not getting that relaxation that it needs, man. Also, you're sleeping on a couch. That might be one of your issues, too. The alarm is set. It's time to hit the sheets. No, it's not. We're exploring. That book about lucid dreams. A decent manual for beginners. I still keep rereading some chapters to keep reminding myself. I guess I've got quite a bit of experience under my belt from these past two weeks. I don't know why, but it's easy for me to control my dreams while others spend months training. I waited so long for this game to come out, but I've still not even touched it. And tonight it seems fate is just not on my side. I'm too tired. One new message. Ah, it's from Sam. Business. What else? Overwhelmed with stuff to do since morning. Now I even feel more tired. Nothing else. Oh, looks like it's just bedtime. Alright. Concentrate. So late? Alright, alright, alright. Jeez. It's like dark outside. What do you want? Who is it? Man, you, you live in a nice dig. Small apartment for a nice place. What? I don't understand. How did I get in this hotel? It's a hotel. Oh. What's happening? Red curtains. I have a bad feeling about this. I like the idea of the red curtains. But yeah, it's a little bit spooky. Oh boy. Hi. Great spooky dude. Quickly, get to the door. It's here. Uh, oh. He got me. Let's try that again. He still got me. My hand! It's bleeding! I think I have some bandages in the bathroom. How did you just get hurt? Have, have you been lucid dreaming so often that uh, now your dreams are coming to kick your butt? It's not a good thing, my friend. Your wound is real. You really don't understand what's happening. Your head is now exploding with lots of questions to which you have no answer. But there's one thing that concerns you most. When do you go to When you go to bed next time, will this thing come again? If it comes, what are your chances of escape? You, you bandaged your wound, then you phoned your office and told them you were taking the day off. Before nightfall, you need to collect as much information as possible what to do in the situation and how to avoid it. Power of the internet, go! Searched all over the internet, but still can't find any trustworthy accounts of someone being wounded in a dream. There's not one. There's not one out there that doesn't sound like the ravings of a madman. Am I the one that's going mad? Uh, I mean, you haven't gone to bed yet, so open the door, man. Just don't go outside. If it looks like a hotel, go back inside. Done. Good evening, sir. Here's your pizza. Good evening. Thank you. Hey, pizza. 
scared. Really scared to fall asleep again, or to find out that this reality is just another dream. I need to find out how I can make myself wake up. The book must have something written about this. You've read this book multiple times, but never paid attention to the chapter on how to make the dream come to an end quickly. Some of the tips seem ineffective. Others are things you've already tried to follow in your dreams subconsciously with no success. The advice that grabbed your attention was the idea that you were supposed to find something in your dream that usually makes you wake up, like an alarm clock or something with a similar sound. Your brain would respond to a familiar sound and you would wake up. Sounds pretty legit. Late at night, you still decide to go to bed, hoping the nightmare will not happen again. It kind of looks like it's happening again. You know, unless you normally dream of dark hallways out of your apartment. I thought as much. At least now I know a way to get out of here. I need to find something that sounds like my alarm clock. Your alarm clock's not there? And my alarm clock is gone. Of course. It's never that simple, is it? You're in a game, my dude. Nothing's ever simple. <laughs> That's a Destiny game. Man. I'm not getting that. Oh, back to the hotel. Creepy hotel. What can you find in a hotel? An alarm system, maybe? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Do not, do not slip and fall. They, 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 they take it. caution. No floor. Thanks for the heads up. I mean. At least your, your subconscious is being kind to you. <laughs> Not like, hey, there's a floor. Mm, oh, we got curtain area again, boy. Strange, but the store doesn't have a handle. Ew. Maybe we need to go the uh, no floor route. No floor route, let's go. Come on. Excuse me? You weren't there before. I'm pretty sure you weren't there before. Uh, you got an item. Door handle. What the hell is going on here? Sorry, my, my game locked up for a second. Hopefully it's just a one time because I've got things running in the background and not a freeze every time you get an item. Yeah, it looks like there's a handle on there now. Oh really? Now the door has a handle. So what do I do with mine now? Oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. Get in. Oh, hey. Yeah, let's go in here. Damn, they almost got me. And what now? Um. I can't see the bottom. Tell me ways to jump. You got it, dude. Just don't step on the door. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go around that. I don't think about falling out vertically through the sky. That'd be weird, man. Here it is, fire alarm. Quickly break the glass with the door handle. Go, dude, run! Oh. Okay. I'm over here trying to click the small circle. My bad. You did it. It's dark outside. Damn it, I'm sweating all over. Even the sofa got wet. Crazy. I need to take a shower. You left pizza there, and you left it open. That's how we get mice. Also, I don't remember that pizza on the floor earlier. Take a shower, dude. You've received confirmation that sleep is deadly for you, so you decide to hold out without sleep for as long as possible. It'd be difficult, given that you hardly slept last night. In the morning, you went to the store and bought a large supply of energy drinks. You stayed at home all day, struggling with drowsiness, and as bad luck would have it, the rain poured down incessantly. So when it was ready, when it was already at the dead of night.
trying to stay awake, trust me. I I have the issue of not being able to sleep all the time. I, I'm insomniac as heck. It's thinking like, oh, I'm just going to stay up all night so that I can sleep better tomorrow. It doesn't work, man. You just feel like garbo all day. Though if my couch f floated like that, that'd be awesome. Oh, that's sweet. Drifting off in the dreamland. We're sinking into this weird, deep, dark pit that you put yourself in. What I call deep sleep. Strange, but this paved path looks painfully familiar. David, this is your life. Childhood memory? Oh boy. Wait, that does look like a umbilical cord. It, it's connected in a weird way. You shouldn't be connected to your head. Here, only darkness. I can't make out what's beyond it. Don't turn the lights on. Please don't turn the lights on. Weird stuff is going on. Sparkle is behind me. No way. This is my childhood home. Is this really happening? I can't believe my eyes. And how did I end up on the second floor? You guys have a, a door out to nowhere on the second floor? House for a child is that? Overlook Hotel. I remember the day I watched this movie. I guess I was too young for stuff like that even. So many memories. My older brother and I spent countless hours in front of the TV watching cartoons and movies on videos. Hmm. The video player's power cable is missing. Where could it have gone to? Danny, come down to the basement. I'll show you something. Yeah, let's not. Okay. This is my room. Too bad it's locked. Danny, I'm here. Oh. This is so strange. I recognize my brother's voice. He was calling me to the basement. It's like the basement itself is calling me. My brother's room. Locked. It's near the basement. I guess we gotta go to the basement, though. I do see this over here. Won't even budge. Oh, it's only the bathroom. Always know where your bathrooms are and your exits. usually kept the key to the basement here. Did I get this one wrong? It makes me a little sad. If the key is in here, I might as well check the key holder next to the back door. People don't use the key holder, David. The dining tables where the family found we get together. What an odd feeling. I understand that inside a lucid dream everything is supposed to look very real, but to be in my childhood home it's creepy. Set down. Oh, the sofa. Just as soft as I remember it. The 
What about all the great evenings we had on the sofa? Most of all, I remember that Christmas one. Damn. Where did that sound come from? The TV on the second floor was mine and my brother's, and this one was the family one. Let's see if the old girl's working. Hmm. This won't work. I can use this power cable for the video player. Nice. That does look like a power cable. Looks like a video audio cable. But I'll let you pass, game. My parents' room. Locked. And the bathroom. Sound was coming from the basement. I remember we had a piano down there. Okay, I better off taking it easy. I need to get back to finding the key. You said there was one by the back door. Key holder? No way out of the house. The front door, maybe? I, mean, I, I would have thought that'd been the back door, because back door by the basement makes sense to me, but. Oh, there it is. Key holder on the wall. You know, the basement's not here. I think it's, it's unlikely they ever hang it here. It's from the bathroom. Who is knocking in the bathroom this time of night? You got an item. Basement key. Oh boy. Yeah, oh, that way. You guys have a weird patio. That was close. It's running so fast, the key fell out of my pocket. Wait a minute. Closet key. This isn't the same key. What a weird dream. The closet? It's the room on the second floor. Guess I get over there. Get off my desk, you crazy bug. Pretty porch, though. A bit salty. It's the tears, David. I'm hearing stuff moving around that in my in the room. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too in depth with this. Get out of here. You creaks and your creaks and your creeps. Stop it. Look who's here. I'm gonna win for you. Did you have a good trip? What a hell of a storm we're having. Follow me, I'll show you the way to your workplace. We got a lot of work to do. Hey Sam, he's got a string on him. That's a little bit creepy. He still got a string on him. To his head. Does everyone has a does everyone have a string? I brought our friend. You might as well not report him for showing up late today. It's inexcusable in such foul weather. Yeah, the storm is terrible. Can you imagine? My brother's car hit the ditch and turned upside down because of the gush of water mixed with mud. This happened today in Ventura County. Fortunately, my brother is okay. Goodness. My parents live in Ventura. I wonder how they're doing there. Is that you? That's you, Anna. Anyway, work won't do itself. Let's go, mate. We got a lot to do. I, I'm looking at myself. You're me, aren't you? No, no, no. You're me. Very clearly, you're me. Or I'm very crazy. Hold up. 
That's an image of our porch we were just on. With the rain. Okay. You some yeah, he does have a string on him. Somehow, sir, you've created the matrix in your mind. Sussex sex sex. Sorry. Success corp. This looks almost like a doorway over here, but the way this game's starting to pull into itself, I I, I don't know what to expect. Is that little David? It's got to be something to do with David because it doesn't have a string attached to him. What are you looking at? Come on! We got a lot of work to do. Daniels. His name's Daniel? I thought his name was David. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they're all him. Very true of the, the basic office setting is everyone's a drone of the system. <laughs> Here's your workplace. Grab a seat and begin. I don't want to. I wanna what's the door? Hey, you forget it already? We got a lot of work to do. I know, but I just I like to explore. Press to work hard. I will press all the buttons. Work harder. How much do I have to work? Seriously. Okay. Clicking simulator. Eight hours later. Uh, what about to stop? <laughs> Why'd you stop? We've got a lot of work to do. I, you know, I feel like other people can click buttons. Who wake up, please? High score. I'm not setting no high score on that. What just happened? Everything's a blur. Why do I feel so tired? Well, I'm back on the second floor. I've got the key to the closet. I need to use it before it turns into something else again. Also, video cable. I did get that. And now the video player is working. But no need for a video yet. That's his room. Okay, closet must be down here then. It's an office. I didn't visit this one. Here we go. Hey! Conveniently placed video! Whatever's happening here, it can't be by accident. It's like someone is putting this tape right into my hands. Halloween 1996. Oh. I remember these tapes. Father liked to shoot videos of just about anything that happened, important or trivial, especially with me and my brother. We have amassed quite a collection. Well, what about this tape? Really? Looks like I'm getting somewhere with this whole thing is about. I'll watch the tape right now to make sure. Wow, this is my favorite childhood game. I can play it over and over again and never get bored. Usually the room was locked, and it was either my dad working on the computer or my brother playing, because, well, he was older. Different situation, I'd be happy to do some playing, but now's not the best time, really. Ah, I see that. You can barely tell, but that is clearly doom. Good choice, sir, good choice. Very, very clever for the air. I personally didn't have doom. I had uh, Chips Challenge and some other things that were on Windows 95. Uh, my parents were very anti-violence, like, uh, I think when I was like 12, 10, wow, no, 9, 8, 7, 6, some of that range, someone very young, um, I got a VHS of Power Rangers, and I never got to watch it because my parents thought it was too violent.
Oh wait, I got a VHS tape, not a key. Sorry. We we're talking about my own life. Never did watch that. Even when I was old enough, I was just, I don't know, I got tossed, I guess. Let's see. Not creepy at all. Steve, I can't find you. Where are you? Danny, come down to the basement. I'll show you something. Look, if this is a VHS tape, Dad was creepy. Because that angle means that he had the video camera up in the ceiling. And he was watching all everything. Are you sure? Yes, you need to see this. Daddy's been dead the whole time. Where are you, Steve? I'm inside. Come here. Oh. I'm trying to get this weird feeling that he's just repressing a horrible memory. I still don't know how to play, but my mom said she'll teach me soon. I feel like he's inside there, maybe? There's a dark corner of a basement. That should not be a thief. Steve, where are you? Yeah, I don't think the basement's supposed to have a long hallway of red curtains. Oh my. Steve? Oh boy. Okay, enough. I don't want to watch any further. That day was like a nightmare. And I had all but forgotten about it, and I remember what had happened. When I was six years old, my brother scared me by dressing up in a black cloak. I still can't understand why I'm dreaming this now. Hey, my uncle had an E.T. mask, man. <laughs> Nightmares are weird things. They come back at weird times. Steve's room. Bug? If you don't get off of my, my desk, you're not going to get off at all. my brother. It's a little... Why is he crying? Steve, it's me, Danny. Why are you crying? Danny? I'm sorry. It's alright, Steve. I stopped being angry with you a long time ago. We were just little kids back then. I didn't mean to frighten you so much. Because of me, I have nightmares. You might even die, and it'll all be my fault. What are you talking about, Steve? How do you know that I'm in danger? I know who's after you, Danny. You've gone too far trying to control your dreams. You caught their attention. Who are they? Who are you talking about, Steve? What do you know? These creatures, they live in dreams. They can't cross the line between dream and reality. But that line blurs away in someone's mind. They come for that person. They come in swarms, like moths drawn to the light. And, and what do they do? They feed on your fear and turn your dreams into nightmares. They take on the appearance of what scares you most. And the thing that scares you is me, Danny. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Steve, come on. You know, today I'm gonna stop being afraid of them. I'm gonna look my fear in the eyes. Because I know it's my brother hiding under that costume and he really doesn't mean me any harm. Right, Steve? Yeah, that's right, Danny. So then we go down to the basement, put an end to this? Yeah, I'll do it. What do you plan to do next? Maybe we can play together? Or watch some cartoons? Or get in the closet and play on the computer? I'm sorry, Steve. I'll have to leave. In fact, I'm already 28 years old and this place is no longer my home. Why'd you move to the house next door? No. To another street? 
to another city, Steve. Far away from here. Did you leave Portland? Uh -huh. Well, then you probably need to go now. You know what to do, Danny. Yes, yeah, Steve. This nightmare will end today. Okay, boy. I remember those. It's been so long. They look so old-fashioned, but I still feel all warm and nostalgic. Look at them. No sound? I dropped the speaker on the asphalt. I told you, remember? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. Sure. Too bad. This game had great soundtracks. Wait, Danny, why are you still here? Yes, yeah, Steve? You know, you need to wake up. Wake up? You mean, you mean do what I'm trying to do now? Wake up from this nightmare? No, wake up in the real world. I don't, I don't understand. Reality is just a dream and dreams are just like reality. You can understand, but you can't live like this forever. When was the last time you talked to me? Well, somewhere around didn't forget about me, did you? No, just... There's no need to answer. I know the answers... I know the answers to all my questions, Danny. It's all because I am... It's all because you are... Nothing but your imagination. Nothing but my imagination. Wake up, little brother. Dose of reality kicking in. This house keeps me confined within its walls, but my brother disappeared when I realized that he wasn't real. The rain has stopped. These creatures are losing their power. I can feel it. I need to go down the basement and put an end to my fear once and for all. Are they losing power, or are you losing a grip? Or both. Gone through to the other side, Daniel. I feel no fear anymore. Soon I will be the only one who controls my dreams. And pianos. I am the piano god. The piano sounds just like it used to in the old days. I wonder if your mom ever taught you. Like you said she would. I mean, plucking keys, it's about as much as my mom taught me. I even went to classes in school, so can't play it. Steve! Whatever you are, I'm not afraid of you. It's over, you can't stop me. Finally gone. Hmm. So that's why I remember the red curtains. Either a red light or red carpeting covering everything. That makes sense. Old red lamp and uh, sheets everywhere. You know, when you're a kid, your mind remembers things in such a weird way. It's all sunny. Was her old house really such a cozy and beautiful place? What an odd feeling. Maybe I should go visit my parents this summer. Nothing about you is bloody. Job complete. That night. Can't believe it's over. Everything is over. Damn. Do I really need this? Well, 
I miss my brother. I don't know how long you were asleep, but there was just a pizza here. So somehow in your sleep you ate Chinese food too? I mean, that is some skill. Today is such a beautiful morning. To be honest, it's been ages since I last felt so refreshed after sleeping. So alive. How long has it been since we saw each other? It's two years now. Ever since I left, it feels like I've burned my bridges. Is he angry with me for this? Give him a call, dude! And yet go. One way to find out. Hey Steve, it's me, Danny. Clean up your clean up your damn apartment too, man. Ready. Is that the end of it? That was it was short and sweet, man. I liked it. Nice little story. And fantastic team, Edward Gusto. I'm not going to read names, I'm sorry, I'm real bad at names. Fantastic little story. Not to just jump off the yeah, fantastic part and thinking of fantastic again. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it was short, sweet, the music was great, you know, the story was heartfelt. I liked it. You know, way to go, guys. Well, links will be in the description below if anyone wants to check out and go through the story on their own. In depth with it. I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, hey, feel free to check that out on your own time and stuff. Uh, or say, hey, does money, you missed something major, go back and check it out. But uh, yeah, this is Dust Money Avenger from Slackers to Cover. This was Radiant One by F Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. If you, for more news information on what's going on and what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. I will see you guys later. Later on the ground! Sorry, I gotta enjoy this music a little bit longer. Lord is a love a crescendo! Yo, ex music major for three years, man. I love my love music.